Hey, what's up? It is Spider with FearNet, and I am sitting here with the director and stars of Stakeland. That's a vampire movie, a road movie, a western, an apocalyptic movie, and hopefully a good movie. Rather than have a plot that is dependent on vampires to be a plot, it's a, a great story that just happens to include some people that like to drink blood. Our vampires are more monstrous, more feral animal kind of creatures. They're not really the uh, the pretty kind. What, what caused this apocalypse? It started with pig flu in Mexico when that was the hot topic. And just then it jumped to cows and then it jumped to people and then right. people started coming back and drinking blood. It's more of like a political economic sort of meltdown too. It's like there's still a country, there's still the US, but it's kind of stripped down and everyone's locked down in towns and trying to keep safe. You know, you're always trying to find something that scares you so that you can scare an audience. And then when you look around at the world and you see the state of the world that we're in, I think you wind up pulling from all these different resources. There's probably a year's worth of footage in here. We, we did a pretty cool thing that you can really only do in independent film where we shot in the summertime uh, and then we took a couple months off let the seasons change let these guys grow their hair out and age a little bit because it's a road movie and it takes place for a long period of time and then we came back in the winter time to the Catskill Mountains and finished the film to play for like the second half so the movie kind of has this really epic kind of feel because of that because we kept spacing stuff out and shooting little bits along the way so uh, talk about talk about the whole the whole process and the experience for all you guys you know the first uh, two weeks of shooting or whatever three weeks up in Pennsylvania uh, camping out we just set up a tent made a camp Connor came up we camped out we would just be in the characters if we didn't have the work you know that was our, our homework I think what I've, I've learned is when you have a large budget you spend it and when you have a small budget you just get stuff done there just is this sense of uh, on bigger budget things that if you know if something goes wrong we'll be okay you know if someone doesn't show up we'll be okay but this you know on a project like this if you lose one day you've kind of messed your entire schedule mm -hmm. um, you don't have wiggle room so it requires you as an actor and I think as a crew to just be on point all the time and I think ultimately will will force the best out of you right. which is great.